Okay guys, I'm now joined by Anthony Yard, a man with 12 fights and 11 KOs. Anthony, how you doing? I'm good man, how are you? I'm all good, thank you. Going in on Saturday against Norbert Nemes Nemesopati, <laughs> say it off the phone. What do you know about him? Um, not too much, just been certain facts that he's been told, certain facts that have been told to me of him. Um, which is, he fought Andre, Anthony Durrell, um, and Durrell's like 30 something, you know, or, and one or something like that. And he's 30 a fat, he fought him, I think. He fought um, Liam Smith in his 20 a fat. Um, and the guys had 26 wins, 18 knockouts, and lost six, I think. And two of them losses were two, two good fighters. So um, again, we tried to get a, a guy undefeated, Ryan Ford. Um, he pulled out for whatever reasons he had. Um, again, it's business as usual. I just know that I've got a job to do. I'm not focused on what anyone else has done with him or anything like that. I've just got my job to do on the day. Every opponent is different to every other person. It's about um, just being the best person you can be. And again, I'll be the same Anthony Yard on the day. Well, before we come to Ryan Ford, yeah. because you don't know much about Nemes Nemesopathy, mm. how difficult can that be to prepare for it? I prepare for every opponent. My opponent can get changed again, and I'll still be as relaxed as I am now and be doing the same thing because I prepared for a fight, not for a particular individual or a particular opponent. Um, so again, one fight now, you know, it should be exciting. The level of the opponents that you're facing is going up because of the, some of the names that Nemesis yeah. Patrick has fought before. How far off those world title fights do you think you are? I know Frank said, yeah, uh, do you believe that's right? Um, everything's timing for me. Literally everything's timing. It could be a year, it could be two years, it could be eight months. You know, no one knows. Um, no one knows, but I, I, again, one thing I do know is about once you get to a certain level, maintaining that. How long are you going to maintain it for? I'm still learning in the sport. I'm still learning a lot in the sport. Uh, 12 amateur fights, 12 professional fights. So again, what I'm doing at this level, you know, it's, it's, it's unheard of, really. Um, sometimes you get a puncher. That's, that's very green, he just comes through, rushes his work, but he's a hard puncher. I try not to be like that. I try to box, I'm learning the game of boxing. And hit hard, and hit in the right places. So again, um, I'm just enjoying what I'm doing. How difficult as well, or difficult or different, does it, does it make the challenge? Because Nemesis Apati isn't here today, you can't do it face to face with him, so you can't size him up and mm. see him for yourself. Does that make any difference to you, not being able to see him in person? Not at all. <laughs> He'll be at the way in tomorrow. Um, hopefully. <laughs> He'll be at the way in tomorrow. Um, we'll get weighed in and then Saturday is fighting at Showtime. And you mentioned Brian Ford earlier. How, how frustrating is that for you that someone pulls out when you, you begin your camp preparing for it? Again, I don't prepare for any particular opponent at this stage. I prepare to go into a boxing match. Um, so I'm comf I'm comfortable I'm confident and I'm comfortable in what I'm doing. And we also have the ongoing talk about the Burton Buglioni situation. What is that? Go what is going on with that? Uh, as far as you know, after this fight, would you, you, is that what you want now, Buglioni for the British? You know what? I'm just going to make this very clear. I would love to win the British title. Love to be the champion of my country and win it outright. Is that my end goal and my end aspiration? No. Would I love to do that along the way? Yes. So again, for me to win the British title would mean a lot to me. But to win a world title would mean a lot more. So, with me. For me, I think it was strategy. Yeah, I think it was strategy. Bugaloni knew that I was getting close to fighting him. A lot of the public and a lot of the boxing media was pressuring him, saying, fight Anthony Yard, fight Anthony Yard. He bit back and said, I will fight Anthony Yard after my Ricky Summers fight. So I heard about this, and he put, even, put, even put my picture on his, on, his, on his page. So I was like, what? I was like, okay, we tried to fight him about a year ago, but he said no. So I was like, okay. So then, all of a sudden now, they're trying to fob me off to Jose Burton. Jose Burton's just been knocked out by Frank Bologna. They're saying it's a mandatory. I ha I'm not in this waiting game thing, where I'm waiting to fight for this title, and I'm waiting for this amount of time. Within that time, I could have 
three, about three facts. And again, get closer. I've got a top 10 ranking with the WBO. I'm fighting for the international or inter intercontinental on Saturday, which again gives me another ranking. It's about moving towards that step of becoming a world champion and to start fighting guys that are in the world scene. Yeah, it's good being in the domestic scene in Britain, but again, I want to try and elevate and try and get to that stage. Um, the opponents are being changed, people are refusing to fight me. Um, so again, we're, trying to, we're doing the best we can in terms of opponents. Um, there's no one that can criticise my opponent this time, man, because, as I said, Karen Smith fought him in his 20th fight. The real fought him in his late 20s in terms of fight. I'm fighting him in my 12th fight. So again, um, I'm just looking to do my job, try and focus on the positives and um, get the job done. If, if, they get, if they want to give me Boogaloni afterwards, another fact I'm going to give you, this is what I found out today. Boogaloni just got asked to fight Kovalev and Andre Wood. He turned them down. So again, if he's being, if he's in that little bracket where his name is being mentioned or pictures of the opponent for them kind of guys, then th now it can make sense why I want to fight, um, why I'm fighting Bugaloni makes sense for me. I don't see Jose Burton getting called to fight any of them guys. He's just been knocked out by Bugaloni. Uh, what makes sense? So again, people need to stop being underneath someone's ass, listening to what somebody's saying and just taking it. You need to start thinking about the facts of it. Another fact I'm going to give you. If you look at these, if you look at legends, Mike Tyson, Rocky Marciano, Roy Jones Jr. Look at who they were fighting in their top professional fight. That's, what I, that's all we've got to say. And what are your predictions for your own fight on Saturday? I ain't got a prediction. Just tune into BT Sports and Box Nation and watch the show. <laughs> um, we've also got Billy Joe and William Monroe Jr. You saw yeah. little bits today and also yesterday. What are your thoughts on all the beef that's been kicking up? Um, it's just entertainment, you know. Um, it's things like this which catch the public eye and bring people outside of boxing, makes them interested into watching it, seeing how it plans out, etc. So again, it's always good for the sport. Um, and again, it's better. It's good for me. Um, it brings more attention to the to the to the venue, to the occasion. Um, I'm chief support again, so it's all good for boxing. And the super fight at three or four o'clock in the morning, Canelo versus Golovkin. What are your thoughts on that? I think Canelo wins. Um, I think he's got a better boxing IQ. I think um, Golovkin is a monster when he wants to be. You know, if he, if he sees performances against um, Lemieux and Stevens, he come out sharp, good jab, moving good on his feet. Um, so literally it depends how the two fighters turn up on the night. For me it's a 50-50 fight, but it depends how they show up on the night. Uh, Anthony, before we end in fact, I just want to admire your coat, you're a man with many oh, nice you know. coats. Oh, I'm, I'm you looking know, at you all know. these coats that you bring into these press conferences. You know. <laughs> Only if you can feel the material. <laughs> <laughs> right, you Anthony, know. Thank you. Thank you bro, thank you. Love.